Hello, my name is Chris from Curbside Laundries, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how to set up your new Fusion tablet for use in your laundromat. To begin, you should have the Fusion tablet with the case already attached to it. You're also gonna get the power cord, a set of four screws, the included screwdriver, and the ELO stand with a visa mount on top of it. The package also comes with an included USB hub from Anchor, as well as a magnetic card reader. So the first thing we'll do is to ensure that the tablet itself is functional. So we're going to take our power cord and we're going to plug it into a, U to a power source and plug it into the tablet. You may find that there are two similarly sized ports. What we're looking for is the center port. That's the DC labeled port. After it is plugged in, we're going to push the button that is located on the top left of the tablet. It's a smaller button. If the tablet does not turn on at first, let it charge for about five minutes and then try turning it on again. Obviously here we do have power, so we're good to go for the next step. And that is attaching this to the ELO mount. Go ahead and unplug the Fusion tablet. It, re it may remain on because of the power, so we're gonna turn it off manually by pushing this power button here again. Good to go. You may notice on the ELO stand with the visa mount, the visa mount has eight holes on the very top of it. This directly corresponds with the eight holes that you're going to see on the back of your Fusion tablet. So the four screws are gonna go in the center ones, not the outer ones. And the reason why is because it's going to provide better support for the chassis. Now keeping in mind that the top of the Fusion tablet is actually located here. So we're gonna screw in these two ones first. After removing the sticker on your Fusion tablet and ensuring that the two are screwed in, you're just gonna apply some slight pressure. You don't wanna over tighten these screws uh, because it could go straight through the case and into the back of the Fusion tablet. So we're going to match these two screws to the two top screws uh, with the holes in them. We're just gonna push them right through. There we go. After they're through, we're going to grab our screwdriver and tighten both of them. And again, we don't want these too tight. We wanna make sure that they are just tight enough to apply pressure. We can tighten them once all four screws have been placed in later on. After the first two screws have been placed into the tablet, we can flip it over and access the other two screws that we need to put in. So you're gonna grab your screwdriver and a screw and just put that in. These ones you can afford to be fairly tight. You want there to be enough pressure to hold it securely onto the ELO mount. After this step, you can go to the original two screws and retighten them as well. Because now we have it fully mounted to the ELO, we can plug in the power cord, nice and secure in its proper socket. We're gonna grab our Anchor USB hub, and we're going to plug it into the USB 3 socket. It has a blue color on it. Lastly, we're gonna grab our card reader, and we're going to plug the card reader into the USB hub that we had just plugged in. Once you plug in the card reader properly, there should be a green light that starts flashing on the card reader. That's how you know it's on. Now that we have our Fusion tablet set up, let's go ahead and start with our printer. You're gonna need the printer power cord, printer receipt itself. It'll come with a roll of 72 millimeter paper, as well as a USB to printer cable. On the back of the printer, you'll notice a bunch of slots. Now the first one here is the power cord. On the other side, we'll have our USB, and in the center is where we'll plug in our cash drawer. We're going to take our USB cord and plug the printer side into the printer slot. And then the other side will go into the computer later. We'll grab our power cord, slot it into the correct position. Make sure the orientation is correct. It's kind of impossible to plug this in wrong. And you're good to go. Now, the front of the printer will push the on key, and a bunch of lights should show up properly on the front. To load paper into the printer, you're going to pull up on these two tabs on the sides. Grab a printer. Uh, this is a 72 millimeter paper. So make sure it feeds from the bottom, not from the top. It's a common misconception to put this in incorrectly. So we want it from the bottom of the tray outwards. Done. We'll close it, and it should cut itself so you have a fresh sheet of paper in front of you. After that's all done with, we can now plug in our printer into the USB hub that we have from our Fusion tablet. Any slot will do. After we have that plugged in to the computer, we are all set. The computer does come with its own set of drivers and it should work pretty much out of the box. You're good to go from there. 
So now that we've gotten our Fusion tablet and the printer set up, let's plug in our cash drawer. Typically, you'll see that the cables are marked. The marked one is the one that goes into the printer. This one will go right into the cash drawer. So you want to plug the appropriate one right into the cash drawer. So after that one is plugged in, we're going to plug the other end with the mark into the back of the Epson printer. This will be located here, just underneath the power plug or next to the power plug. So we're going to take our cable and then just push it in firmly until we hear a fine snap and then you're good to go. So the last thing we have to set up now is the scale. The scale is super simple. You just plug it in for your USB and the other end is going to go right into the Anchor USB hub. And that's it. Simplicity itself. We are super excited to be a part of your laundromat's journey and I'd like to thank you for joining us today and setting up your hardware. This has been Chris from Curbside and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.